Hello there, all you amazing people. I thought we would do a little bit of a funny video today, or funny, funny, a little bit of a... Well, it is meant a little bit in gist or a little bit uh, in a fun way, do something a little bit different. But I'm going to talk about this up here. And th th these comments here have nothing to do with this video. It's just so you can see how I look at comments in my dashboard. So I'm going to talk about the six most crazy or irritating comments that a YouTuber get. And I've talked to people around, you know, other YouTubers and they kind of agree with this one here. Of course, this is a personal kind of thing. You know, it's a person, how we're all different. So some may like one comment or dislike one, one form of comments more than the other. But me talking to content creators since 2010 or something like that on YouTube and, you know, YouTube friends that have had YouTube channels like since the early 2000, not early 2000. So since 2000 and I think the oldest one was 2008. And we all have talked about this in prior it what we feel like what do you think about this kind of comment and how do you look at this comment and what do you feel about these kind of comments and these are kind of the six that i've heard most people say that yeah we really don't like those kind of comments number one iq flex nobody wants someone flexing their iq in a comment section i don't care about it the readers don't care about it the people that do go in the comment section most people don't read the comment section by the way newsflash for you most people that you know if you get like let's say two three four five hundred views on a video you may only have 25 comments and most of those views they don't look at the comment section even if you have thousands of comments most people that watch your video don't read the comments so when people are going to do that uh, let me flex my iq here nobody fucking wants that nobody cares about that and it's really easy to see when someone is trying to flex their iq because it's more or less just them like regurgitating a manual page regurgitating uh, something that sounds smart but may not be smart and stuff like that nobody wants or likes an iq flex and if you feel the need that you have to flex your iq you are probably not that smart there is this psychology kind of phenomenon that dictates that most people think they are smart are below average intelligence most people think that they are stupid are above average intelligence so if you now start to go around and tell yourself or tell everyone that you're stupid that won't work so anyway another a little fun one there another one that's really oh, this one really box me one of the the, the one is one of those that box me the most is not watch the video come so someone reads the title or see the thumbnail or watch you know two seconds or one third or, or, or you know the one tenth of the video and then they go mental in the comment section about something or or well blah 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 this and that and it's like well if you watch the video that's being addressed later in the video or they are or oh, what about this and this and this it, it, again if you watch the video that will be addressed later in the video. Oh, you forget to mention this. No, it's later in the video. <laughs> and I, I like to go in and say, well, watch the video and make the comment again. And then they try to back, oh, I have watched it. And then you can see they have watched the video because now they're actually commenting with something about the video, but they had watched it the first time also. Pinky swear. They watched it the first time. And uh, this is also one of those amazing this goes a little bit with the iq flex by the way essays nobody wants to read a fucking long ass comment in the comment section i do it sometimes because they are interesting they can be fun they can be uh, the type of people that make those long comments are really fun to make fun of or poke a little bit because they their ego their IQ seems to be really important to them. So they make these like, they present an essay kind of like they were going to a doctorate and have to, to defend an opinion or something like that. And they don't want to listen to what you have to say. They just want to, to basically make a, you know, a 10 paragraph explanation about why you were wrong or why it's really like this and not like that or why the, the earth is really flat or why the sun is not really the sun, but it's an iceberg that someone put up there out of a fucking soft ice or something like that. Why the testicles swing one way instead of the other way because of centerfold gravity or, you know, unevenness in the earth magnetic fields. So therefore, you're always carrying your testicles on the left side. Nobody Nobody wants to read those fucking essays. Another one that uh, most people, again, I've talked to, they don't really like is political comments. Nobody really likes political comments in a YouTube video, especially if the video has nothing to do with politics. Can everything be, be politically driven or have political meaning? Yes, but that don't mean 
it has. So if if you see a video about crackers or building a cake or how to make a swing or how to, you know, build a, a, a shelf and then someone goes in with a fucking political spiel about the, the, the hand drill that the person are using or the bits the person are using or the woods where the wood that they are using where it's outsourced and blah, blah, blah. Or, oh my God, you're using locally uh, sourced wood. So you must making a, a political statement about oversourcing in the rainforest that we should use local source wood and stuff. Nobody gives a fuck about that. Unless the video specifically is about a political subject. Nobody gives a fuck about political talk in the comment section. It, it's almost universal. Nobody gives a fuck about what you think politically about the notebook. I have, I use a right in the way notebook. Here, go nuts. Go nuts with your political aspects about that. There could probably be some form of political statement made with that. But I use it because I like it. It's a little bit expensive, but it's one of the best notebook uh, books I have ever had. I fucking love them. I don't give a fuck about their political leaning. They could be whatever the fuck they are. I don't know. I don't give a fuck. I like it. But there will be someone right now be like, Oh, you're using it for this political meaning and everything has a political meaning. Even if you don't want it to and stuff like that. And, and it's nobody, nobody wants to listen to those fucking assets. Nobody wants to listen to those. Other than other people like that, of course. But it's one of those <laughs> comments that, that when I see them, I'm like, I get... That, you know, I understand, we, I, everyone understand what you're saying, that everything has a political meaning. Oh, sorry, I just hit the microphone here because I'm all over the place. But unless the video is about it, we don't care. That's not what we are talking about right now. Not even indirectly, not even subconsciously. Another one that also is almost universally fucking despised in, in the YouTube com, uh, space from, from content creators is the, oh, you suck, this is a bad video. Oh, you can make it better. Why is this so boring? And Yeah? How the fuck can we use that for anything? All all those comments are is just feelings being spewed out or, in, in text form. It's just a feeling someone has to say out. It's like, I am sad. Okay, what are you sad about? I am sad, yeah? Yeah, I'm really sad. Yeah, what are you sad about? I am fucking sad. I get it. What are you sad about? Yeah, I'm really, really sad. That's basically the conversation that you have with those kind of people. It's not conductive. It do, I, I can't use it. Nobody can use it for anything. If you think someone sucks, explain why they sucks, okay? If the video is bad, in your opinion, explain why it's bad. Just putting, oh, bad video, worst video ever. Oh, you sucks. Oh, you are fat, whatever the fuck it is. And all of those fucking just emotional statements cannot be used to anything. And, and the last one, and I kind of laugh at this one, because it, it, it's, uh, it just tells about the insecurities in other people. But personal insult. Nobody wants them. Nobody cares about them. They don't mean anything. And all you are doing is you're just spewing out emotions again. The only thing it tells people is that you are potentially a really fucking sad, bad person. You know, if, if, if your only feedback to a video is to physically or personally insult a content creator, that basically tells the world that you have nothing worthwhile saying. You have nothing intelligent to say, you have nothing smart to say, you have nothing conductive to say, you have nothing worthwhile to say. Your only argument to the conversation is, oh bro, you are ugly, oh bro, you are fat, fat, oh bro, you look like you're living in your mom's basement, oh bro, get a job, you know. Nobody can use that for anything. It, it, it's something that people do in like third grade or something like that. You get what I'm coming at here? It's, it's, it, it, the, the, the personal insults and, and you bad, bad video, you suck. Those two things, it's just people spewing out emotions. And the fun thing is a lot of those people that, 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 are, that are making, you know, oh, you suck, bad video, or, oh man, you're fat piece of shit and stuff like that. Those are the same people that say, oh, this YouTuber don't take feedback. Okay. What feedback did I get from the video suck? I can't get any feedback from the nobody can get any feedback from that bad video pro wh what feedback is that yeah it's bad what is bad is it everything <laughs> is, you know what is your suggestions to make it better then oh you're a fat motherfucker what has that to do with the video like it's not, I, I do look in the mirror every fucking day more than once you know i, I i'm not blind you know i can see i'm a fat motherfucker
Okay? Oh, you ugly. Again, I look in the fucking mirror. <laughs> like, do, I, I just don't get those kind of people. But yeah, these are the, the six worst com or worst type of comments or most irritating comments, whatever you will call it, that, that a YouTuber can get. Of course, this is just my opinion on it, but it's also something I've sourced out, out with talking for with YouTubers for over 10 years about uh, and listen to what they say because I love talking to other YouTubers and, and how they do their channel, what kind of comments they're getting, how they're handling it. I, I do wish that more people would be more putting more thought into their comments because it shows. And a well thought out comment is really amazing to engage with, even if that comment is a negative comment. But if it's a well thought out, well laid out, well spoken or typed, comment about what is wrong with the video could be better with the video that is not not only really amazing for the content creator but also for other people reading it and it's helping the content creator amazingly because it's a well thought out, well planned out, well executed comment that is actually giving you feedback. Most of those comments that I've just mentioned right now is not giving any feedback to the content creator. See you all later. Bye bye.